everyone, Jason from Make Carry here with another introductory video for getting started with CNC machines. And in this one, we're looking at what CAM software is and what CAM software does compared to other types of softwares that you might be familiar with using, as well as how to choose the right CAM software to get your CNC projects up and running with your desktop CNC machines like the Carvera and Carvera Air. Now you might be familiar with another common type of software called CAD. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design Software. And CAD differs from CAM in that we use CAD to create our models through different design techniques depending on the type of model that you're looking to create. Some CAD software specializes in making 2D models while others might be more suitable for 3D modeling. And then there's even specialized CAD programs ideal for making things like printed circuit boards or PCBs. Now, once you've created your model in CAD or if you've already sourced the CAD file from elsewhere, you then need to bring that CAD file into CAM. CAM stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing. And in short, CAM software allows us to prepare our designs to be manufactured using our CNC machines. Now, all CNC machines rely on a type of CAM software or another. Even 3D printers use a slicer, which is a specialized CAM program that will slice your model into layers for 3D printing. For CNC milling machines like the Carvera and the Carvera Air, we use CAM to create what we call toolpaths by selecting the type of cutting, drilling, engraving, or milling operation that we want to create based on our designs, as well as selecting the right tool or bit for the job. In our other videos, we discuss how to choose the right type of bit depending on the type of material that you're working with, as well as how to set the correct speeds and feeds so you can find success during the manufacturing process. And the output from a CAM program is a coded file typically written in G-code. G-code is what tells your machine to operate as it moves across its different axes to manufacture your part. And at one point, G-Code was entirely written by hand, which you can still do. But of course, fortunately, we have CAM software to take our designs and generate the G-Code for us in today's world. Now, just like there's many different types of CAD programs out there, there are also many different types of CAM programs available for you to pick from. Some CAM programs are great for really complex models. Others are a bit simpler, and some might be suitable for lasers, while others are better for mills and lathes. At Maycara, we want you to be able to choose the right type of CAM program to suit your needs, your projects, your designs, and your maker style. As shown in our other tutorials and guides, a lot of our users like to use Autodesk Fusion or SolidWorks, which combine CAD and CAM techniques, or perhaps VCarve or Curimoto for something a little simpler and a little bit more content specific. But at Maycara, we've also noticed that a lot of these CAM programs don't offer an intuitive way to learn or an easier way to prepare your designs for manufacturing. Additionally, all of our machines can do a lot of different types of projects through different manufacturing processes, and few CAM programs can support this wide range of production techniques. So we've recently released Makera CAM, a program suitable for users of all levels as they design and create a wide range of projects using our versatile desktop CNC milling machines. Makera CAM is free for all users, and we have a growing library of tutorials and projects to help you get started. So to summarize, all CNC machines need some type of CAM software to prepare the designs for manufacturing. Some CAM processes are simpler than others, and some desktop CNC machines are more diverse than others, allowing for a wider range of projects to be prepared and manufactured. For whichever CAM program you choose, make sure you choose one that suits your specific needs, is compatible with the resources you have available, and comes with a ton of guides and tutorials to help you get started and learn how to find greater success with your projects and creations. You can check out our other Getting Started videos on our Wiki site and YouTube channel. Of course, please don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.